To continue our conversation with torches, tips, and tanks, let's take a l further look at some of the t uh, tools that are available. Okay, we've talked about the tip fitting into the hose and into the regulator and, in and as being part of the tank setup. Okay, there's many tips and sizes and styles that are available. Okay, these just are three of them. Again, you want to pick a tip that's not too large and not too small for, the, for what you're doing. Okay, tips have been developed that provide heat around the tubing and fitting. This allows the entire circumference of the tubing to be heated at one time. Okay, that's why you have to have a large enough tip. You don't just want it to be focused on a certain point of the tubing because it can actually put a hole through the tubing if you hold it in one place too long. Okay, this is an example of a tip that allows it to be developed all the way around. Now, if we take a look at the difference between these tips and the first ones, and again, you can see these only have one outlet for the gas to flow. It's at the end of the tip. The ones that are due all the way around could be a five flame, nine flame, or just a triple flame tip. Again, allows it to be heated from all directions at one time. All copper fittings that use these torches can be heated sim simultaneously, and the tubing can be pulled away from the torch when the brazing alloy reaches the proper temperature. Okay, this is another example of a torch. This is a two-sided torch, okay? Flames kind of both sides of the tip. The proper heat must be selected when soldering or brazing. Air acetylene or oxyacetylene may be used as a heat source. Air acetylene combinations that use the twist tip method for mixing the air and acetylene can be used for both low and high temperature soldering and brazing. Okay, and again, most technicians do carry the air acetylene as a part of their supply. Okay, we can also use map gas. Okay, map gas can be used especially in the soldering situations because it is small, self-contained, and easy to carry. Okay, the air acetylene torch has a flame temperature about 55, 89 degrees, and the correct tip must be used for particular soldering or brazing application. And again, wide range of tips here, okay? For very small applications, small piping, you may use the one all the way on the right, and then you might go up in size depending on the pipe sizing you're using. Okay, they actually have a table for flow rates, okay? Different tip numbers, different flow rates, and it's always at 14 PSI, okay? So again, there's different tubing capacities if you look at this table for example an a5 tip okay can handle um three quarter to an inch and a half for soft soldering and a quarter to three quarters for silver solder or brazing and the reason is because of the different temperatures required Another heat source is the MAP gas. It's a composite gas that's similar in nature to propane and may be used with air. The flame temperature of MAP gas is about 5301, but it does not get as hot as air acetylene. MAP gas is supplied, again, in these lighter containers. Okay, so MAP gas is actually, doesn't get quite as hot, but it's usable definitely for soldering and for braze, you can braze with it in smaller pipe sizes. The key is select the right tool for the job.